Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a super exciting video. We are going to be tie-dyeing our clothes. We're going to be upcycling things that have been sitting in our closet for probably five years plus that we don't wear anymore. And now we're going to want to wear them every single day because they literally came out amazing. I'm just so excited. So stay tuned to the end. I'm going to show you the before and after. To do this, all you need is really simple at-home products, things that you definitely have sitting around. You don't need to buy anything or wait for anything to ship. We are going to go outside, enjoy the weather. We're going to get dirty. We're going to put on some ugly clothes that we can get ruined because we're working with bleach. So I hope you guys do this too. Let me know in the comments if you end up doing this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more as well as follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting pictures with these outfits and I'm super excited to share that. So hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So I started off by looking through my dresser drawers in my closet to see what pieces could really use some tie-dye, some revamping, some love. And I ended up finding a lot of pieces that I really haven't worn that are perfect for this DIY. So first is this pink Calvin Klein sweatshirt. This actually already had bleach on it, so I was like, why not add more and make it look fun? Then I wanted to try a swimsuit because I think a tie-dye swimsuit would be freaking awesome. And then I found this puffed sleeve sweatshirt, which actually shrunk in the wash, so I haven't worn it, and I think it'd be great to revamp that, as well as this pink half zip, which is also great. I have not worn this in so long. And then this black crisscross tee I also haven't worn. And then I picked a black pair of leggings and thought I could pair that with a black tee. There are a few things that I ended up adding to this that I didn't show in the, in the before, so you will see that at the end. Then I also threw in a pair of denim jeans. I really wanted to try this out and see how this went. And this was just a really kind of tight pair of skinny jeans that I haven't worn in a while. Okay, so let's move in to what you will need. The first thing you're going to need are obviously the old clothes, also gloves for that bleach, rubber bands or string if you don't have rubber bands, that's what I ended up doing, some bleach, and an empty spray bottle as well as a wash bin. Okay, first step is to fill your wash bin with water. I'm just kind of pouring some cold water outside. I also suggest it is outside because it will get messy. You don't really want to get your bleach anywhere. Then you're going to mix half bleach and half water in a spray bottle. I basically eyeballed all the measurements, so just kind of get an idea of how much you're really going to need for this project. And then you're just going to shake it up. So first off, we're going to kind of do this piece by piece is the Calvin Klein sweatshirt. You wanna, for everything, start soaking all the clothes in water. And I did each one individually. Then you're gonna wring out the excess water. Make sure it's not completely soaking. Then I'm gonna start to twirl or scrunch for my desired pattern. I recommend just going online. There are tons of patterns and ways to get your desired effect. And then you're gonna secure with your rubber bands. You'll see as I progress into this, um, I actually ran out of rubber bands, so I ended up just using string. And then you're gonna spray different sections with the bleach mixture that you used. Next is the cup she swimsuit. So I started off by removing the pads. If you are gonna do a swimsuit, that might be a good idea just to start off. For this one, I took both parts, the black and the white, and kind of scrunch them together because I wanted different parts of that to get the tie-dye effect. Next is the pink half zip sweatshirt. This one came out amazing. I'm just gonna spoil it for you. It literally came out amazing. And this was one of the best ones. So for this one, I actually kind of scrunched it up instead of twirling it. And I'm showing you each individual one just because if you liked one piece specifically, you can kind of see what process I went through to really get that effect. Next up is the crisscross tee. For this one, I twirled the material around. This one was another one that really came out so good. And I also want to show you just kind of my technique from tying the string around. So I started off with one long piece of string and then just kind of kept twirling and knotting around the clothing, but you can also just cut little pieces almost like a rubber band. And then I sprayed the little kind of nubs that were created from the string and kind of squeezed them a little bit. So here's the process. 
I actually laid them out as I was doing this and they were all working while I was working on it. So you kind of have to move a little bit quicker. You also don't want to keep the bleach on the clothing too long. It might ruin the actual clothing, um, like the integrity of it. This is another one that I threw in that I didn't show a before of. That's what I was talking about in the beginning. And this one also came out amazing. I ended up cropping it and it looks great with the leggings as a cute little set. Really, again, such a great way to upcycle old clothes. Next is the puffed sleeve sweatshirt. This one was really thick and it actually didn't end up working, but I do want to let you know that different materials will have different effects. So um, this one I used the string as well and I drenched this one in bleach. I even went back and tried to add more bleach. All day I was going back to it and it just wasn't working. The inside is actually white and that was bleached, but the gray material on the outside didn't work. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Next up are the black leggings. These guys came out amazing. I totally recommend if you have a black pair of leggings that you don't wear anymore, or even if you have an extra pair, definitely do it for this DIY. They literally are amazing. So I actually separated the leggings and kind of scrunched them up and just did a random pattern. And I actually went back and sprayed these a bunch and they just really came out amazing. I can't wait to share with you the finished look. Okay, last up are the denim skinny jeans. So what I did for this was a little bit different than the other ones. I took string and I tied the pants in half. So this is my inspo. I wanted to do that like half light wash, half dark wash. And I rolled up the one side and placed it in a plastic baggie and then tied another string around to make it really tight to make sure nothing was getting in there. And then I soaked that one side only with water and then just put so much bleach on the one leg to try to make it just that even light wash. I almost even wasn't going for the tie-dye here. Basically, I sprayed the bleach and then rubbed it and patted it, made sure that it was evenly spread onto the jeans. So the next step for all of these garments is to rinse them and um, wash them in the, in the washer. So what I did is I just took the wash bin again and put some clean water in there. I removed all the rubber bands and string and then I rinsed the bleach out of all of the clothing. As you can see, all the dyes that came out from the bleach all kind of go into the water. It didn't ruin any of the other clothes that I soaked in there, but I would suggest maybe if you had white garments that you were tie-dyeing to change out the water. Now it's time to throw everything in the washer, but just wait a second don't throw everything in together if you have blacks i would do that together and then any light color clothing i would do that together just because the bleach is still on there and the coloring can still come off and ruin the clothes okay sit back relax and watch the final result
One last thing before we go, the bathing suit actually didn't work. I don't know what type of material it was, but it did not take any bleach. And like I said, when I was showing you guys this one, the sweatshirt did not work as well. 